Hi all, here's another practical use for GeoGebra. If uh, you have your students trying to find a um, solution to a system of equations, GeoGebra can actually do that very nice and easily for you. For example, let's say that I wanted to intersect um, a parabola with a straight line. So maybe my uh, parabola is defined by, and I'll just click down on the input line, y is equal to 3x squared plus um, 2x minus 5. And I'll just press enter and you'll see immediately my parabola shows up. I might uh, roll my mouse wheel to scroll out and see uh, um, what the uh, parabola looks like. Um, let's say I wanted to intersect that with a uh, straight line, so maybe y is equal to negative uh, 3x plus 4. And so y equals negative 3x plus 4 um, pops up. And I'd like to know what those intersect points are. So as you can see, there is an intersection here, there is an intersection here, but it's, uh, it would be useful for me to know what those values are. So all I need to do is select my uh, point tool, hover my mouse over the, uh, the intersect point, you'll see that both lines appear. And if I click, that A will snap right onto there. If I now go down here and I just hover my mouse over here and click, you'll see that that B snaps right onto there. And if you look onto the left where we see our dependent objects, you'll see that um, point A exists at the order pair negative 2.76 and 12.27, and point B is at 1.09 and uh, 0.73, which gives us the two solutions to that system of equations. This same uh, trick can actually be used to find the, uh, the x-intercepts of a parabola, for example. Um, very simply, all I would need to do, if it's an x-intercept, it's going to intercept the x-axis, which is at y equals 0. And so if I press enter, you can't actually see the line because it's overlaying the, um, the axis itself. But if I do the same trick, pick my point tool, you can see that both the line I just created, which is the x-axis, and the parabola light up. I can click there, and I can go over here and do the same thing. And now you can see that for that parabola, the two x-intercepts are um, at point C, which is negative 1.67 comma 0, and at point D, which is at 1 comma 0. Likewise, I can do the y-intercept using the same trick. Um, y intercept is at the point, or at the, when it crosses line x equals 0, which is the y axis. And so I can just again hover my mouse over top of it, and I get point E at 0, negative 5. So the y intercept is at 0, negative 5.